All right, guys. Um, thanks for joining me today. This is Josh Weidman with REI 360. Listen, I, I wanted to want to kind of piggyback on a training that I did the other day uh, that has to do with marketing and social media. Uh, so that's why I wanted to do today's uh, today's training. I wanted to kind of set the table. I, I, in the last training I did, I jumped into how to create a Facebook ad, and um, I don't think I did a really good job of of talking about some of the background and why, because why is really just important. It, it really is. I mean, there's, uh, and, and really talking about the two different types of marketing that we're doing on Facebook and a lot of other social media. So without further ado, let's jump right into this. I'm calling today's training, tell a story versus sell your stuff. The difference between branding or brand building and direct response marketing and how to build a Facebook ad for both. So we're going to take a look at examples on how to build an ad for both of these mediums, or not both these mediums, but both of these outlets, because they're both important. All right, so let's um, well, let's back up here. Now yeah, we'll, we'll jump right into it. So, all right, first and foremost, let's talk about objectives. Okay, what's the objective of one versus the other, and really, what's the difference of the two? And we'll get into some other differences, but first and foremost, the objective is a big difference. So, we've done. Up until this point, uh, a lot of um, marketing-related trainings, direct mail, um, bandit signs, uh, you know, your website ads, you can even Google AdWords. The whole goal up until this training has always been direct response. It's always been getting the user's attention, make them an offer or an argument um, so that it's going to solicit or elicit a desired response and then to capture you know some type of data from that response you know for direct mail to make it easy direct mail you know the um, direct mail response is i want you to pick up the phone and call me about selling your house so it's a lead it's a phone number it's generating a, an email address or contact record that you're getting a direct response from for the marketing piece that you're sending out it's called direct response because, hey, it, it elicits a direct response. It calls them to action, okay? On the flip side, brand marketing is quite a bit different, quite a bit different. Why? Well, with brand marketing, we still want to grab people's attention, but what's the difference? The idea is that we're going to create a relationship uh, based on trust, reliability, expertise that you are showing this user or this prospective client, and it makes a huge, huge difference in the way that you approach the seller. Um, as an example, I mean, a lot of brand building and relationship building, maybe brand building, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the wrong phrase in, in determining, maybe it's more relationship building. I guess that's that's probably a better description, but, you know, um, for relationship building, let's use the analogy of a local hardware store. I mean, I can remember growing up, my dad uh, would take me to the local um a true value hardware store in Hershey, Pennsylvania, where I grew up. And there was a, a guy that worked in the hardware store that um, he had some health issues and he had one arm. I mean, I remember him uh, because, you know, it really stuck out in my mind as, as a young kid. But one thing I always remembered is this guy had an answer to everything. He knew the tool, the part, the nut, the bolt, whatever, whatever it was, he knew exactly what was needed the right tool, the right piece for the right job. And I can remember going in there and, you know, lots of towns had people like this. Lots of towns had stores like this where you would go over to the hardware store. You have a conversation with the uh, one of the guys that's working there. And sometimes he, most of the time, in fact, he'd sell you a bolt or a nut or a screw that might cost you a quarter. You know, nothing much, nothing much at all. But then, every once in a while, you're walking out of there with a chainsaw, or with a, a washer, or a dryer, or you know another appliance. True Value, the local hardware store, was where we went to get all of our, uh, you know, all of the all the stuff that we need to fix up the house or you know whatnot. And that was a relationship. That was a long play. Why do you think they sold those, you know, ten cent nuts and bolts? My goodness, they, they weren't making a ton of money on it. Couldn't, there wasn't much money to be made. But it created the relationship. It opened the door. So this relationship marketing, it's the same type of idea. 
you are going to create a relationship with this user. And most of the time, you're going to be giving them free information about what you do. You're going to create fans for your product and your business. They're people that maybe they'll never do business with you. But there's an awful lot that when the time comes, regardless of your price, they are going to buy or sell or recommend your type of product when it's when it's time uh, time to do so. All right, so that's that's the major difference here is the objective, and because the objective, because our goal in the marketing piece is is so different, we're going to have a lot different of a um, uh, of an approach. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So I mean, I'm a big fan of the three M's of marketing, right? You've got the market, the media, and the message. So in this case, the market, who are, who is our market with direct response marketing? They're going to be people that, who, that uh, want or need to sell their home. And they're also going to be people that know someone who wants or needs to sell their home. I love that second one. It's really it has been the key for me in, um, in using some different types of direct response marketing to really generate a lot of really good um, responses and leads. So on the flip side with relationship and brand building, what are we looking for? We're looking for people who will ever want or need to sell the house and people that will ever know somebody that wants or needs to sell their house. So the major difference here, and then you know we keep going, we're also looking for people that want or need to sell their home or people that know someone that want or need to sell their home. But the major difference here is that this is a long play. We're not trying to close the deal on the first date. We're trying to cultivate this relationship, talk people through it, and bring them to a, a decision today, tomorrow, whatever, 50 years from now, whatever. We're looking to build a long-term relationship, okay? So what kind of message? What's the difference in the messages? With direct response marketing, you know, we've done a lot of, of stuff on what this, what what the message is. You know, typically it's, hi, my name is Josh. I buy houses. We pay cash. We close quickly. We buy an as-is condition. The idea, though, is that there's a, a group of people that are motivated to sell their house. And we are trying to appeal to those people to call us up to get what they need while we get what they what we need, right? But we want to call now. So we buy houses, we work with people in your type of situation, whether it's inherited house, you're going through a divorce, the house is a mess, um, you know, you have tax liens or you have, uh, you know, violations on the property, whatever the case might be. With direct response marketing, there will always be an offer and there's always a call to action on the marketing piece. All right, great. So with brand or relationship building, what we're going to do is we're going to share information with people about how we do what we do. Show them the intricate details of how we do what we do, make what we make, find properties, deal with people, tell stories about the people we've worked with, show pictures or you know videos of a, of a settlement where the seller's smiling and thrilled and they just can't believe how well everything went. I love doing post interviews on rehabs, right? Um, th this is something I just started implementing with my marketing. And that is this. Oh, we bought a, uh, an inherited property, right? And the house was a mess when we bought it, of course. And the, the family, there was four kids and they tried to rehab it themselves and didn't quite get it done. But really good family, really nice. And they just, you know, they asked as part of the sale, can you please let us go back and check out the property? Absolutely, I'd love to. So after the sale, I set up a camera and I interviewed them. And after they looked at the house, and they couldn't believe it. They were so thankful. They were so thrilled. They couldn't believe they were treated so nicely. We did everything we said we were going to do, closed on the house, and then turned it into just this beautiful place. My goodness. You're telling me that, that doesn't, that's not a great piece of marketing? People see that and they're like, man, if I'm ever in that situation, I know who I'm going to call. And the key is to grab people's attention and to show them what sets you apart? Give something, give people something interesting to see about what sets you apart from all of your competition. I mean, there's a tons of we buy we buy houses companies out there. Why are you different? Why are you better? That's that's what you're trying to do with this. And better yet, you're trying to grab people's attention to just build confidence in you, build confidence that you can continually do what you say you're going to do. 
So then we've got the media, brand building versus mar uh, direct response marketing. Our media, our delivery method is going to be Facebook. That's the that's the focus here. Now, um, I'm going to talk specifically about paid ads, but you can do very much the same with non-paid advertisement on your Facebook fan page or on your personal page. I, I have a um, my own uh, own. Um, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't even call it a blog, but I, I do videos called The Lazy Landlord. And The Lazy Landlord is geared towards people that want to invest in real estate or, you know, and, and what I do is I just share little handy tips about investing in buy and hold investments. And uh, if you, you know, if you want to check out my Facebook page, you can, um, you know, search me on Facebook. Again, Josh Weidman. Um, I'd be happy to add, you know, add you to my friends list, but you do, and you're going to see Lazy Landlord blog post that comes up. It's the kind of thing that it's free. It doesn't cost me anything to to, uh, to share, and I get a really good response from my friends and people that re they refer me to. I've gotten business from referrals from just a few, um, you know, few short videos. All right, so let's take a look at the steps in creating an ad. First of all, what we want to do is we're going to identify the motivation. This is a big one. You know, a lot of, you know, bandit signs, there's not enough space on a bandit sign to identify a specific targeted group of motivated sellers. But with direct response marketing and with um, a relationship or branding marketing, there certainly is, especially with social media and online media, you can make a hundred thousand derivations of different ads to target, you know, minute subgroups. So who are these motivated people? They're people that fit one of the following motivated categories. They have a timing motivation, they have a situational motivation, or they have a financial motivation. Uh, financial motivation examples might be foreclosure or job loss. Um, situational, they're inherited the property, they're going through an illness or a divorce, um, bad condition in the property. And then timing, is just, you just got to sell fast. Like time is of the essence. So then uh, you want to create the message. So what are you going to do? It's, uh, you're either going to put together a video or an image that's going to grab their attention. It's going to tell a story. It's going to have a call to action. It's going to solicit or elicit a response. And it's going to give them an offer. Um, then you're going to close the deal. Closing the deal with these ads is pretty interesting. You want to match where you're sending people if they want more information with the type of response that you want to get. If you're doing a, you know, a slow sell branding, uh, branding type marketing piece, you probably don't want to send somebody to a landing page that tries to, you know, a squeeze page that tries to get them to sign up for something. Uh, maybe it's a better idea to say, hey, like my, like my page. For more information, check out our fan, Facebook pa fan page, things like that. Likewise, if you're tr you have a call to action, call me, send me your information, I'll call you, you know, all of these things. Make sure that you're you're sending them to a place where you can capture their information and follow up. All right. Um, so here's an example of brand building. We ran this ad um, no, just recently, just last week it it, it started. Uh, it's the first in a series of what I want to call true stories. So this one was about two sisters that were selling their mom's home. And so we made a PowerPoint presentation of a couple pictures and took them through a little story. It's a true story of, of these two sisters that, you know, the, they put their, the, their mom passed away. They, um, at, at the, the funeral, they were talking about how much their, their mom's house meant to them. And then they get back to the house and we're kind of cleaning things out. And they were so overwhelmed with the condition of the property that it was just a mess. So they called an agent to help them sell it. And the agent says, Hey, you got to put all this money into it. I can't even list it in this condition. We can't show it. And you know, maybe you should call an investor. And that's when they reached out to us and we took them through the steps. We made them an offer. They signed the contract. Two weeks later, we settled on their house, and they were thrilled. I mean, literally, they were crying at the settlement. They loved it. Awesome. That's a great story. And so this is the story that we tell in a short two-minute video that you know I put on our Facebook fan page. I also did a paid reach, and you can see here we had almost you know 1,500 over 1,500 views of this video in just a you know a week's time. That's pretty awesome. That's a pretty great reach. Um, and then you click on learn more and that takes us to the, it takes them to the fan page. They can check out our company and what we do and all kind all things like that. Okay. So that is the brand building and relationship building. Now on the flip side, we got direct response marketing. Okay. With direct response, 
or identifying the motivation, the people who know of someone with an ugly house. Great. So what did we do? We made an image. Okay, we did an image ad just with pictures. And usually I like to do a series of these where you where each one targets a different type of seller. Uh, in this case, we just did one. Um, you can see here, it says, you know, last month we paid three people $500 for finding us properties that look like a hole in the wall. And you've got, you know, a row house that just collapsed. If you want to, uh, if you know someone that wants or needs to sell their home, click on the link and get paid. So find us a house to buy and make $500. So it's a crazy image, $500 offer, call to action, you know, and then learn more takes them to a landing page for $500 referral on the back end of my website. So the bottom line is it's, you know, it's pushing people to make a decision or to refer someone. And it's a, it's a very easy, um, hands-free type of thing to do. If they go to the website and they see our phone number, they can always call us. So it's, you know, it, it's a really nice situation there. So, um, what are the takeaways from, from today's training? You know, here's the deal, guys. If you're in business, you have to be marketing. If you're not marketing, you're not in business. Uh, there are different ways to elicit different responses from people. It's probably a really good idea to target two different types of, uh, of people here um, and using both types, both a direct response and a relationship building response. At the end of the day, you know, you need leads today to close deals. Uh, but at the same time, we want to continually be building that relationship and building a, um, a group of loyal followers to then, you know, um, th what to follow us and to, uh, to build a, a great brand behind. You know, you want you want people to follow you. They you want them to be entertained by you, and and they want you want them to to interact with you, so that when it's time for them to sell their property, they're going to call you first. That's just a great situation to be in. All right, guys. So that's it for today. Thanks for joining me for today's training. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, please um, reach out. And uh, anyway, best of luck with Facebook. Go out there, get it done, take action, and um, Go get some deals. All right. Talk to you soon.